Welcome back to the channel. We're here with the Hero Fest summoning session. We'll also be doing our special hero summon here. <laughs> I'm real nervous about this, but uh, hopefully it goes well. So our goal for the Hero Fest is just Yuri's and Plumeria's. Like whatever we can get, that's awesome. I want to spark Yuri, but I think I'm going to spark Plumeria because I think it's just a better choice. Like merges on Plumeria directly affect my score, while merges on Yuri just make him a better unit. I don't know. Either way, it's 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 a very good banner. Uh, so let's jump in and we'll do this first and then we will talk about Hero Fest and the Fae channel because there's actually more stuff to talk about. Okay, so we have one of each color at least. So I did the math. <laughs> and this is just for me. This isn't for everybody because this is based off what I want. But red has a 14% chance of getting something like terrible I don't want. And then a 22% chance of getting something meh. 50% chance of something good, and then 14% chance of getting exactly what I want, right? So I'm not going to go through all of them anyway, but in total, Colorless has the best chance of either getting a unit I really want, or like a unit I don't mind getting. So hopefully this works out. I'm going to go Colorless. Oh, please. Like green, I think green is probably the best for most people, but I have like a dual corn and dual dagger, and I don't really want... Like, merges are cool, but they're not what I exactly want here. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. It's not what I wanted, to be honest. <laughs> that was not in the uh, the win category for me. Let's see what the IV is. Plus attack. I think mine's already plus attack. I'll have to check. But, I mean, that's cool. I can definitely, like, merge her. Or, technically, I could fodder her for AR far trace. Eh. I think I'd rather merge her. Okay. So, we have Winter Lysithia for our free pool. Pretty good. So what I wanted, okay, so for me, the units I wanted the most from Colorless was Baby La Rochelle, Summer Freya, Halloween Robin, or Ninja Agreen. Those were the ones I wanted the most. Uh, as long as we avoided like Vika and uh, Vika and Liar, then I didn't really mind too much. I do like them, obviously, but I don't really want to merge them up to plus 10. So pulling more of them wasn't really necessary. So here's the Hero Fest banner. Let's jump in. We have 10 tickets, which is pretty insane. We'll be pulling all colorless and red. I don't see a, really a reason to pull green and my legendary Dimitri is already plus 10. So I think all I would really use him for is like steady impact slash odd tempest fodder. Odd tempest actually isn't too bad. I wouldn't mind having that as fodder, but I don't really want to pull for it if I'm being completely honest. So we'll just pull colorless and red. Okay, so what do we want to talk about first? There's so much stuff to talk about. Uh, first, let's talk about the Legendary and Mythic remixes. So we got the announcement that they, we will be getting Mythic remixes. And we got the remix for Herid and we got the remix for Air. And I think I think people are like sleeping on Air's remix a bit, which I kind of expected because it's not really flashy. And I don't think people see it as very powerful. But the fact that you can get 20 healing anywhere on the map and then 5 resistance to any ally, like more than one, above 50% HP, I think that's actually pretty solid. Like, it's not insane, right? It's not like um, Binding Shield 2 or With Us 2 or <laughs> what's it called? I think that's what Tiki's is called. Like, it's not like the most insane one, but I don't think it's terrible. I think it's pretty decent. It's definitely better than Fjorm and uh, Legendary Axe for sure. And then Rids is kind of interesting because it does an attack and defense debuff based off the lowest resistance, but then he also has attack defense menace. So he's doing another attack and defense debuff, but they don't stack. So it's kind of like, eh, I think it's a good preference skill. I just don't know why they gave him attack defense menace in his C skill. Like it's, I know a lot of people want to inherit that, so that's cool, but like, I don't think it's amazing. I feel like they could have given him a better skill that worked better on him, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe just having extra ways to debuff is better i think we'll have to see his weapon to really uh be sure but you know it, it doesn't seem too bad uh we want to pull this orb. yeah we'll pull this blue for three orbs why not we don't have that much pity yet so i don't really mind if it if it is dimitri here okay so i was looking through it's donald I was looking through the top 100 of CYL to see where like some of my favorite characters ended up. And Tellius did really well. I was really surprised at how well Tellius did. So at 24 was Black Knight, right? So Black Knight was in the top 20 of males. 
But if you add Zelgius and Black Knight together, their votes, he actually ends up with like 5,037 um, or something like that votes, which actually put him at like number eight. So he would have actually been higher than um, Sylvain, I believe. So I think like if they would have combined his votes, like we could actually see a brave like Black Knight or Zelgius like with enough support. That would be insane. I'd be so happy with that. Other than Black Knight, we had Alencia at 25 with 3,000 votes, 3,400 about. Super good, super awesome. I'm glad to see that. Hopefully that means that we'll get another Alencia alt this year. I think she really does deserve a legendary and she could be our like second staff legendary, right? That would be really cool. Uh, of, after that, we have Nephany at 42. Amazing, so good. Hopefully we can get a Nephany alt. <laughs> it's missed. Speaking of Tellius games, this shows up. Then we have Boyd at 66. So if you follow my Twitter, you would see that uh, I did vote for Boyd on the first day. And I was definitely pushing not to get Boyd to win because I didn't think it was possible. And I don't think I really want Boyd to win anyway. But I just wanted to get Boyd some votes so that IS could see like, hey, we want this character in game. And so he actually did pretty good. He got about 1,450 votes. So hopefully that's enough to capture Intelligent Systems' uh, attention. But we'll have to wait and see. And under that, we have Lucia87. Super good. Uh, Stefan ranked 107. Bolog at 116. So Tellius did pretty good. Hopefully this is like enough to slap IS in the face and be like, hey, give us a Radiant Dawn banner. <laughs> I don't know if that would actually happen ever or not. But uh, we can hope, right? Oh, we also had Athos at 99. So Athos is a character I also want in a lot. I think he'd be a great uh, legendary or mythic, either one. So hopefully he can get in as well. But overall, pretty solid. Really happy with that. Hey, let's go, Yuri. Let's go. Oh my gosh. This unit is so amazing. I'm, I'm glad they put him on Hero Fest because plus attack. Oh, wait, I used trait fruits to make him plus attack. <laughs> Well, there goes a uh, hundred trait fruits. Unless I make a second Yuri for a different season. I guess I could use that then. Uh, I'm at 5.63. I don't think I really want to spend all the orbs here. Um, okay, other than that. So those are some good results for Tellius. We also, back to the, oh, a gray. I like gray a lot. Gray's a great character. Back to the mythic remixes. I completely forgot why I originally started talking about that. So they added a few more units to the schedule for the remixes. They added Air, who we obviously saw in the Fae channel. We saw, they added Duma, Yoon, Naga. So those are the mythics. And then on the legendary side, they added Roy and Alm. So that's really interesting, right? They kind of pushed Roy, I, was Roy next? I'm not sure. Roy's before Alm for sure. Either way, uh, it's very good news. It means we're gonna be able to get some remixes for our boys soon enough and the interesting thing is if we look at the calendar of when units are coming back it does kind of give you an idea of when they might be getting their remix right so if we look at this month's february banner that was it was very congested so we had maxed out units <laughs> and dimitri was in blue so obviously dimitri is no longer going to be on the february legendary slash mythic banner this is the banner he is on same with plumeria plumeria is no longer going to be in red which is kind of sad because plumeria and regan sharing is super solid and now it's regan and sothis sharing which is like um not the best i mean i don't know maybe sothis will get a really good remix and then that will end up being good value and she does have time to pull so that's nice but either way like i don't know if i'd want to pull in red anymore just for regan merges if plumeria is not there like as my second backup essentially uh, so now we have in red, we have Sothis and Regan. And then in blue, we have Not Naga and Legendary Fey. And then in green, we have Triandra, Yoon, Fallen Elgar, or Normal Elgar, Legendary Elgar, uh, Legendary Leaf, Legendary Corin, and a, a blank space. So they, they changed it up quite a bit, right? So the interesting thing to me is, is that we have several of the units who are supposed to be getting remixes on this banner right like naga's there yun is there air is there air is obviously going to get removed but yun and naga are there so are they going to actually be on the banner this month and then the next time they show up will we tell us when they're going to get the remix that's definitely a possibility like they put them on the banner this month and then 
they say like they come back in i don't know may or something and then we'll know when their remix is uh, that's definitely a possibility the other interest ooh, this is a good circle the other interesting thing right is that in march we have alm uh it, on the banner so i can assume now that he has been scheduled for a remix if he actually what the heck what is the pot what is the chance this happens like the I got more mist than Yuri's. <laughs> like, what? How is this possible? She must have like a tiny percentage of a chance of being rolled. And yet somehow I got another one. That's so weird. Well, plus 10 mist coming. I don't actually mind that. That's pretty cool. I like mist a lot. Maybe she'll get resplendent too. Anyway, so Alm is coming in March. So that means that his remix might be coming in March before Roy's does. Because Roy isn't coming back until July. So that means he wouldn't get his remix until July. Which is pretty interesting because I feel like he needs his remix more than Alm does by a lot. I'm not complaining because I am an Alm user, so him getting more power sooner is kind of nice. Though the later it comes, usually the more powerful it is. So it's kind of, I guess, a hit or miss there. Um, and then for Duma, Duma's coming in May, so we can assume Duma's remix will probably be in May. Which is kind of not, that's not too bad, right? And then we don't know Yun or Naga because we'll have to see when they come back. But it's definitely interesting. Kind of start scheduling out the remixes now. And we also have Azura, right? Azura is coming back, I think, in March. I'm not absolutely sure. I don't have that um, schedule up right now. But if that's true, then in March will be Azura and Ulm. So that, that's a pretty good remix banner right there. There's an Erica. Okay, other things to talk about. So there was actually an interesting part that they didn't talk about in Fade Channel, but was in the update news. So if you clicked on the... Oh, those are all reds. Nice. Come on, Plumeri. Um, So if you clicked on the actual About Legendary and Mythic Hero Summoning Events tab, it had more information in it. And they put in a very uh, interesting little thing where they said they are no longer going to follow the pattern of Legendary and Mythics. And what I mean by this is since Mythics have come out, every other month alternates, right? So you have, a, you have a mythic banner, then a legendary banner, then a mythic banner, then a legendary banner. They put in this that they will no longer be doing that. So now it's possible that we get two legendaries in a row or two mythics in a row. You know what I mean? Or like three legendaries in a row. It's very interesting because I'm not sure if that means they're running out of ideas for legendaries or mythics, one or the other, right? Or like what their plan is. Um... It's also interesting because we still really need a dark mythic hero. Like we need, we only have Knot right now, and obviously Knot's really strong. But it would be nice to have another option. So, I wonder what this means exactly, right? It is one of the longest patterns we've had because Air and them came out in what December 2018. So it's been almost, it's been more than three years, yeah, that this pattern has held, and now it's going to be broken. So it's going to be much more difficult to predict um, who the next legendary or mythic will be because we'll have to literally just throw in all the legendaries possible and all the mythics possible. Let's go! Yes! There's a Plumeria. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. So if I were one Yuri, <laughs> one Plumeria, two Mist. <laughs> plus speed. I don't know if I have plus speed. That's a good IV. Okay. We're just not even done with our summoning tickets yet. That's insane. Let's keep going. Hopefully we can get one more. Uh, I think we'll be sparking Plumeria though, because that will put her at plus five, I think. And Plumeria is definitely one of the mythics that is best. So having her merged up is really good. Oh, that's another thing to talk about. So this Hero Fest banner, right? The amazing thing about it really isn't so much just how good of a banner it is, because I think it actually is a pretty solid banner. The best part about it is for new players. Because new players will have this banner for like six months, I think, maybe more. Um, until, usually until before CYL, I think, is when we get our next Hero Fest. And so they'll have this banner. And the great thing about this banner is it has a legendary and a mythic on it. So that means that if they are um, new to the game, they can actually invest on this banner, their orbs. Like, because when you're a new player, you actually have like a thousand, you have thousands of orbs, really. Um, you get a ton of orbs because you can complete all the story quests and everything else and all the chain challenges. I think you can get like 2,000 orbs on a new account. Probably more. Probably like close to 3,000. Hey, let's go. Tanith. 
I still haven't merged her up yet. I might merge her to plus 10 too. Plus resistance, I'm not very good. Uh, anyway, so what you can actually do now, because honestly the best thing to do before was to just save as many orbs as possible and then go in on a mythic or legendary banner that had really good sharing and then try to like merge up a couple cores that way. And that still might be the best way probably. I would say probably it probably is still the best way. But this is a nice alternative, right? It gives you the option to go in on this banner and to possibly get an Astra core and a water core. Um, Yuri is there. Yuri technically does not add any count progression, right? You don't get a count progression is mostly just legendary and mythics. So he doesn't add in that way in any way. And unfortunately, Bride Catria is actually a harmonic. She's not a duo unit. So it's actually pretty bad in my opinion because with a duo unit you get a high scoring unit right so if you had like a duo unit from biocatria's era i think it was like 190 they scored right and so that would actually help you in arena too which would be amazing but with the harmonic for some reason they don't get that score bonus so you're missing out on that so that kind of sucks and also the fact that biocatria like literally just got nerfed uh, via elamine like her relevance is probably going to fall off over time Especially if they introduce something new, right? If we get a new ARD mythic that is powerful, then she'll probably start falling out as like a new archetype will like emerge essentially. So I think that's kind of bad. I wish they would have put something else there. I'm not sure what they could have put there uh, for green, but it would have been a lot better probably. Either way, I think this hero fest is pretty solid. Hey, it's Swordheart. He's actually a pretty good unit with his refine. If you invest in him, which I really haven't done. <laughs> I think I have like death blow on him. He really needs like a attack defense solo or something. I haven't seen people use like distant counter on him before. Uh, I don't think I want to pull the rest of these. Overall, though, I think the Fae Channel was pretty good. Like we got some decent stuff. Uh, we didn't get the summoning changes I wanted. I definitely wanted three and four star pool. Uh, three and four star pool like purged i wanted like most of the year one units out i think that would have been like really good like it would just literally like make it easier to summon the five stars you want and it would also make it easier to just get decent fodder which would have been great but instead they did the they purged more of the year three units i think it is now yeah year three units which was there were some really good units in there like i can't believe that the bylifts got purged like it's been that long that the three houses units are actually getting purged. Like imagine pulling a four star special right and getting a Byleth. Like how, like that's like amazing. That's like some of the best luck you could possibly have, right? Ugh, Fina. Ugh, why did I say that? Because I have like a plus seven Fina that I've never pulled for. I never pulled for a single Fina and yet somehow I have her highly merged. Okay, so we're gonna back out here. Our appearance rate's 5.31, right? So that's like 3.25 on a normal banner. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that. I think I'll just take another Plumeria. I think, oh man, Yuri is so tempting to get. My Yuri would be plus 3 if I did that. Uh, I'd rather, yeah, I'm going to take Plumeria. Getting merges and Astra is pretty nice. Even though Aether Raids is really easy lately, like I have not had any difficulty in Aether Raids. I don't know if people have just stopped playing it as much or what, but like, it's in pretty easy mode. Okay, there's a Celestial Stone as well. So I think we're done. We even ended on 69 orbs. That's nice. That's awesome. Okay, <laughs> I think that's where we're going to call it. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe. Also tell me if you are going to be summoning on this hero fest. And if so, what are you summoning for? You trying to merge up your Dimitri or your Plumeria, or you just trying to grab a Yuri because he's amazing. Or if you are saving your orbs, because we did just get the Valentine banners teaser, right? We didn't get to actually see everything. We got to see some of their stats, but we didn't get to see everything. And I know a lot of Awakening fans are freaking out. Like this is like their dream come true. So if you're saving for that, let me know as well. Or if you're just hoarding orbs right now, because that possible Hero Rises banner that will be coming in March can be absolutely insane. Like there are so many good green units right now. Like if you could get 
six out of eight green units on that top eight and then get a four person green unit banner that's going to be like the most valuable banner we've ever had so i can definitely see people saving for that as well either way i'll catch you all later with more farm heroes see you then